During the last quarter, we have been working hard on product improvements. And last week, we finished our Q1 demo and internal full end-to-end -end system testing of our Blink Vision system in an in-lab environment. We have finished the schedule activities according to plan. During this week, we have analyzed the test results and we're very happy with the findings. We are in a very exciting phase right now where we are evaluating our Blink Vision system outdoors. We want to gather as much data in different weather conditions and scenarios to be able to analyze our results and evaluate our living vision system. We have created an extensive test plan based on the Euro NCAP scenarios for vulnerable road users. The test plan includes both indoors and outdoors measurements to be able to compare how the sunlight affects our system. And I'm responsible for integrating our AI system into an embedded system as well as uh, in the lab, testing our complete Blink Vision system from end to end. We've done a lot of tests inside and we've done some tests outside, seeing how it reacts in different sunlight conditions, if we have clouds, if it's direct sunlight, or if it's indirect sunlight. Beside Total System Concept Demo, one of our primary focuses were also to verify the system edge case performance and in particular, the resilience to strong sunlight, something that is known to present challenges to any optical sensor-based solution. We are also evaluating the system with different field of views, different laser powers, and also different reflectivity of the objects. Another very important measurement is the end-to-end -end latency for the complete system, where we measure from a pedestrian is half visible in the field of view until we send the brake signal. I'm today very pleased to say that we, with the testing done so far, see no major impact on system performance, even in very strong sunlight, proving the robustness of the system concept. Furthermore, we have of course focused on detailed evaluation of the latency of the system, as this is our core unique selling point. And so far, we are well within the boundaries to be many times faster than anything else on the market, proving that we are developing a truly disruptive and groundbreaking product. Apart from system robustness and latency, operational range is also a parameter that we are focusing on as it has a direct impact on the speeds we can operate within. Here we have gathered a very good data based on different operating scenarios and setups that will be key for our planned further optimization of the system. Now when we enter the next phase of development, target the in-vehicle, integration and demo by end of Q2. Overall, I'm extremely proud of the Ternet team's tremendous dedication, focus and execution during the last quarter and we're already very anxious to complete the obligatory house cleaning and minor bug fixing phase during the first half of April, to then refocus our full attention to work on the in-vehicle demo planned for end of Q2. Looking forward to keeping you posted on the continuous progress.